ولكنهم <تصفيق> ولكن مامول داد جنتا يو سيدي دادك لو غارسين لها اذي جيدي بولشادة يو مامول کا بسمها غولاها ديگان دقموينك سيدو کلا دقموينك غولاها ديگان کا وقت غوضا او لماذي ان ديب لو لسو انتا کلا او عن لسنة لو لسو غولاها ديگان کا لانا سو بيا سيدي لو داد جن لها مامول کا نظام كفدرال كا يعني كوا ده هذا الناي سيدا سو كله وحن كوا ده هذا الناي هرمانين تدول النمة ده يو ولا شقين تا جود دولته هم تي أرين جول هاي نقول ما تي وحن أقوم هاد إيلن هاي باستر سوان سيدا فهم كفي عن يو ولا شقين تا في عن Pleased to be here with you, uh, with uh, Mr. Franz Celestine, who is the head of the International Organization for Migration Team here in Somalia, and also with Ms. Sana Omar, who is the deputy head of the United Nations uh, High Commission for Refugees Agency here. President Abdiaziz, I'm glad to be back in Baidoa as part of uh, my regular visits to federal member states, although I wish uh, it were under better circumstances. We know the people of Southwest are badly affected by severe drought conditions and by continued deadly operations by Al-Shabaab. And please allow me to begin by expressing my condolences on the tragic deaths of Southwest State's Regional Minister of Justice, Sheikh Hassan Ibrahim, and several other people, including one of his sons on Friday. Several others were also injured. We wish them a speedy recovery. And this incident, of course, also followed the death of Merka District Commissioner Abdullahi Ali Wafu, for which I also extend condolences. These latest terrorist attacks by Al-Shabaab are a stark reminder of the danger the group poses to civilians and to peace and stability in Somalia. In our meetings this morning, President Abdiaziz and I discussed a range of local and national issues of importance. We exchanged ideas on how best to advance Somalia's peace-building processes and state-building processes now that a new federal government uh, leadership is in place. We agreed on the importance of a deep collaboration between the federal government and federal member states to advance progress on national priorities. I also welcomed assurances by President Abdiaziz uh, that he, along with Southwest states, other prominent political figures, will pursue a peaceful dialogue to resolve any differences they may have. 
It's important that political disputes be resolved through dialogue and that freedom of speech is ensured as laid out in Southwest State's provisional constitution. On security, again, I expressed my concern about Al-Shabaab's continued activities across Southwest State, and we discussed the group's recent attacks in Bakol. These incidents underscore the need to advance Somalia's security transition in order to be better able to confront such threats. The ongoing drought is a crisis that is causing need and suffering across Somalia and the region. The scale of the challenge is immense, although it is clear to me from our discussions that the Southwest State Administration and the humanitarian community here are doing their utmost to respond. In this respect, we discussed the importance of access to remote areas, as well as the increasing inflows of internally displaced people in Baidoa and other urban centers in the Southwest State. UN agencies are already responding through programs of cash transfer, nutrition assistance, water and sanitation support, and health services. But the situation is dire, and more needs to be done. To this end, the United Nations continues to advocate with the donor community for the mobilization of more resources to meet this challenge across the country and here in Southwest State. I would like to close my remarks by thanking President Abdiaziz and his team for their consistent and constructive engagement with the international community and partners on the key political, security, development, and humanitarian issues affecting communities in Southwest State. Thank you again, Mr. President. Thank you.